Thank you to the fans in attendance. That is the start of the first super heavyweight bite tonight on day five of the National Boxing Championship. Fazan, I'm already excited. So am I. This is a completely different world that I'm seeing here in terms of weight, and I really want to see who wins out tonight. You can already see the punches of Yasser Jamil. They seem to be packing more of power over there. And Tariq Nawaz is really seeming more wary of them. That oh. was a big punch by Tariq Nawaz. But you see the quickness of Tariq Nawaz there. Oh, oh those are big punches. I'm sure Tariq felt this that one on the body. This is my type of fight. I like to see heavyweights going at it. Oh, big shot by Tariq. Tariq Nawaz with big shots in red, representing Team, Army, uh, Team Navy. And obviously Yasser Jamil in Sindh. blue from Team Sindh. Big hey, big uppercut by uh, Tariq, uh, Yasser Jamil. Referee having some words with Yasser Jamil. He's warning Back Yasser to Jamil to not push him, to not push Tariq. And you can see Yasser, he's really measuring the length by just poking his uh, lead hand out. He's trying to measure the length and trying to land that uppercut. It was not successful at that attempt, but uh, maybe throughout the rounds when he try gets a better gauge of the distance, he'll be able to land those punches better. All it takes is one punch, Fazen. Will That's we true. see that tonight? I'd be expecting that from Yasser, to be honest. His punches seem to pack a lot of power. They don't seem to be as fast as Tariq's, but they seem to pack a lot more power, I think. Yes, it's obvious to see that while Yasser Jamil is the heavier fighter, Tariq Nawaz has, the mo has more speed. Will that be a factor in this fight? That will definitely be a factor. I think Tariq should resort to combinations and uh, more in and out movement while Yasser is trying to land those big punches. Tariq should resort to countering. Uh, back in the ring, they're held up in a clinch over here, Tariq Nawaz and Yasser Jamil. Yasser's let his hands go, he wants to get rid of the clinch. Yasser trying to keep Tariq at bay. He's trying to Yasser extend Jameel his arm out. So on your screens. You are watching all this action live on Geo Super. This is Abdullah Khwaja and Fazan Fawad. Uh, calling all the action for you tonight in this amazing Ooh. event. Good event by Yasser. There was an opportunity, a window to counter. He didn't quite avail it, but... Yasser Jamil has... Oh! That is the end of the first round. Yasser Both Jameel. fighters smiling. Yasser Jamil has good head movement that I've noticed. He's uh, avoiding the... He's got a better gauge of Tariq Nawaz's speed and he's trying to avoid his punches better now. I'm impressed by Yasser Jamil's agility. Aren't you, Fazan? Fazan? Yeah, he's uh, using his energy really well. I think he's got a really good uh, understanding of his own body and that's a really core component of an athlete's uh, performance. He needs to understand his own body and I think Yasser Jamil is over here. He is using his weight to his advantage while Tariq Nawaz focuses on his speed and his punching power. Exciting first round. Let's see how the next two rounds go. Pakistan Boxing Federation and DHA bring to you the 38th men and second women national boxing championship. That is the start of the second round. The bell rings round to commence. And we are back to the action. And, uh, between Tariq Nawaz and Yasser Jamil. Tariq Nawaz in red representing Team Navy and Yasser Jamil in blue representing Team Sindh. Tariq Nawaz takes the center and is uh, taking the ring generalship. Big punch thrown. Oh, now both fighters are aggressive, Fazen. Yep, Yasser has been really good at rolling with those punches. What I think he should do is when he rolls the punches, he's come up with an uppercut. I think that would be a good land. Oh, blatantly backed off the head. He should be given a stern warning. And the referee is doing so. Look, it, it almost seems as Tariq Yasser is uh, anticipating that punch and he, every time he dips to his left. Is, is, is Yasser Jamil dazed a little bit? I, we saw him 
back to the fighting. Tarek might be able to predict Yasser's moves now because every time what he can do is he can try to feint and yep, see Yasser does the same move every time. Both fighters looking like absolute beasts. Yasser Ooh, looks like a juggernaut. What Tarek should be looking to do is he should... Oh! He oh! He's wobbled! Oh! Oh! And now it's Yasser Wobble. Yasser is Back wobbled. and that forth. That was a big connection. That was a big punch thrown by Tarek Nawaz. Is this the turning point in the match? It looks like Tarek's legs gave out first and then Yasser followed. Yasser followed suit. See? Another connection by Tarek Nawaz. What Tarek should try to do here is he should try to fake uh, straight. And when Yasser goes down like he does every time, Tarek should come with a hook. And I think that's going to be a clean land. And that's what he did right there. Exactly like he heard you call that shot. <laughs> Amazing. That is an experienced, experienced boxer. He, he knows what to do. Again. Tariq Nawaz with a couple of good shots on Yasser Jamil. Yasser Jamil, I think Lathaji is becoming a factor for him now. What Yasser needs to do, I think he needs to go and close. He needs to put his body weight up on Big Tariq. shot to the body by Tariq Nawaz. Yasser Jamil looking visibly tired. That's what... Yasser needs to shift a lot of his body weight onto Tariq. He needs to make him tired. He needs to make his muscles sore. He needs to take that quickness away from Tariq. And that's a really effective way to do that. How much energy is it taking uh, Tariq Nawaz to keep Yasser Jamil off of him? That's what Yasser is doing now. He's trying to shift his weight on Urtari because he realizes he's a big man and even moving for him expends a lot of energy. That is the end of round two. I believe the most significant shots went to Tariq Nawaz. Yasser Jamil, obviously, a good display of action as well. What excitement we are witnessing live at the 30th men, 38th men and second women national boxing championship brought to you by Pakistan Boxing Federation in association with DHA. All the amazing action, all the amazing fights brought to you by Geo Super. This is Abdullah Khwaja joined by Fazen Fawad. Make it here to the DHA Phase 6 Sports Complex where the finals will be taking place live, live on Geo Super and live in the arena. Be here at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Round 3! That is the bell for round number 3. Final round in the first super heavyweight 92 plus kg uh, boxing match of day 5 of the National Boxing Championship. Incredible, incredible action we've already seen for Fazen. What do you expect in the final round? I expect Definitely having some words. Uh, they're clearing out some sweat on Tarek, I believe. Or maybe there's some blood that we're not seeing. Obviously, the safety of the fighters is top priority for the officials. Fight has resumed. We are in the final round, round number three of the super heavyweight match. Tarek had a good round two and I, he should replicate that. <laughs> Look at the speed of Tarek Ooh. Nawaz. He knew he was in trouble. He had to run from there. Exactly. He knew he was in trouble. But you know you can't do that, you can't turn your back. Both men in the corner, trying to gain the advantage. Oh, blocks it with his shoulder. With his bicep, I might say. Both Tarek has two underhooks, <laughs> if you'd see. Both men, visibly their energy levels are not what they were in the first round. Referee having some words with the fighters, and he starts the fight again. Good punches by Yasser. Tariq Abivas, he needs to push him away. He needs to push Yasser away. He needs to keep punching him. He cannot let Yasser put his weight on him because he's a heavy guy. Yasser Jamil using his body to tire out Tariq Nawaz. Will this be the factor that leads to victory for Yasser Jamil? 
Big hit, big uppercut thrown, did not connect. Couple of good punches by both fighters. Oh, Tare got a good straight up in there. He sneaked in a good straight there. You could see that from the front angle. A lot of cameras, a lot of angles provided by Geo Super here. It's a testament to their quality and a testament to the quality of this event. Little over a minute remaining in the final round of the first super heavyweight fight. This is bout 121. Oh, oh Yasser, big Third shots over there. thrown by Yasser Jameel. Those hurt, those hurt. Tarek Nawaz needs to be careful. But Yasser seems tired now. He's losing his form, he's losing the form on his punches as well. He seems a little tired, a little lethargic now. All that extra weight he's carrying. This is the super heavyweight division. Charge to the body. Referee separates both fighters. Tarek Nawaz, he needs to do something in the final 30 seconds of this round if he wants the victory. Good Ooh. punch is thrown. Tarek needs to go back to what he did before. Fake the straight, come with the hook. And he heard me again. <laughs> A lot of time in the clinch in this particular match. Oh, Yasser just shoves him away. He's like, go back. That is the and end, that is the of, end of, the of the super third round. heavyweight fight between Tarek Nawaz and Yasser Jamil. Both fighters back in their corners. Fazen, who do you think has won this one? Tarek was more active, I think he had better ring generalship in the entire three rounds. Yasser was good in the first round, but I uh, saw him slowing down a lot after in the later round. So, I'd give it to Team Navy over here. Let's see, let's wait for the official announcement. Obviously, Fazan feels that Team Navy has won. The referees, the judges, they are going to announce the winner shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching all this amazing action on Geo Super. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back with the results shortly. Tarek Nawaz, we called it Fazen, we called it Yasser Jamil, even though he was the heavier fighter, Tarek Nawaz using his speed and his strength to come up on top. We see speed him takes the victory today. doing the sajda. Good sportsmanship. I love this event, uh, Fazen. All the fighters have been respectful. All the fighters have understood the sport. We are all doing this for the betterment of sports and betterment of boxing in Pakistan. What an amazing event brought to you by Geo Super. It's a sweet science. Right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, coming up, the semi-finals, the women's welterweight 63 kg fight between Mojma from Team Punjab and Rahila from Team GB. First female bout of the night about to happen in just a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 38th and second women, 30th men and second women national boxing championship 2021. Brought to you by Pakistan Boxing Federation and DHA. This is Abdullah Khwaja. Joining me in, on the commentary is Fazan Fawad. The, all the action you're witnessing is brought to you by Geo Super. This is the first female bout of the night. Fazan, what are your thoughts? How exciting is this? Only for the second time here we're witnessing women in the Pakistan Boxing Federation fight at a national level and this is so exciting to see such a great initiative by DHS, such a great initiative by Geo Super and you need to see this kind of empowerment you need to see you need to empower girls like these in your country if you want to see your country progress that is the beginning of the first round Mojma in red Rahila in blue and it's so girls poetic are going at it it's so poetic as you see these girls punch each other they're punching through cultural norms they're punching through societal norms that are placed on her and they're, and they're punching through so, all of the... So exciting to see female boxers in the ring at the National Boxing Championship. They're punching through all of the societal constraints and they're proving to themselves that they are no less, no less capable than anyone. And embodying that spirit right now is Mozma and the red corner and Rahila in the blue corner. Mozma from Punjab and Rahila from Gilgit, Pakistan. Good punches being thrown. Good flurry of attack by Mojma in red. Rahila throwing punches of her own. Mojma is very excited by this opportunity, you can tell. She's very excited yes. to get into this ring. Look at her energy. She's excited. Yeah. She's ready. She's energetic. She's oh showboating. She's like baiting Rahila in. She's showboating. Get a feel of that. Oh, and she gets smacked on the face for that. Sometimes that happens, Azura Bhai. I know, but it's still exciting to watch. I am loving this. But she's regaining, she's gaining her confidence back and she's gaining her advantage that she was building back. Look at the body language of Mozma. Looks well, well beyond her years. Yep. <laughs> you she's, can tell that she's been waiting for this for a long time. She wants this, she's enjoying this, she's loving this, she's loving this empowerment. This and she's is exciting to watch. She's loving the inspiration force that she's becoming. This wish. Mozma and Rahila. That was a big punch by Mozma. Oh, and Mozma. Connecting with Rahila. Oh, Rahila with punches of her own, connecting with Mozma. Ooh, Rahila with the good big, punch. big punches. Big, big punches. Exciting, exciting women's action at the National Boxing Championship. You can see the fierce look in both of these women's eyes. They want this, they want that to be That was a big here. punch. That was a big punch by Rahila and big punch by Mozma right back. Rahila is trying to make a comeback now. Yeah. She's winning this later part of this round, the second half of this round. But Mozma's confidence is unfazed. She's loose. She's enjoying herself. I'm loving the She's having fun Mozma. here. She is not letting her opponent feel any sort of uh, weak point, weakness. Oh! 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 Next again. And now Rahila fires back. Rahila throwing big punches. Oh, Rahila! Oh, she's trying to push Mozma back, but Mozma literally bear hugging her and driving her into the ropes using her body. End of the first round. Exciting, exciting action. I am, I am so happy to see this incredible match. Both fighters not uh, pulling their punches at all. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen,
Ladies and gentlemen, at the, the at the end of round one, if you caught a glimpse, if you were vigilant enough, you would see that Muazna was looking at the clock. This might be an indication that she's a little bit tired and her stamina is running out a bit. Rahila and Muazma back in, back in the fight. Shots to the body, shots to the face. Oh, by big Muazma. two. Big two, but then and Muazma, she's not backing off. She got a couple of connections right on the chin. How is Rahila still standing? Those are some sweet, sweet points from Muazma over there. Muazma lose on her feet, bouncy, Fast staying head. relaxed, having Talk fun. Talk about the body language of Muazma. She she looks like a star. <laughs> she loves being there. You can you, that's one thing you can easily tell from there. She loves being in she there. She is enjoying herself. Rahila still giving her a fight, giving her a tough challenge. But Muazma needs to be careful. Sometimes when you're in this pressure, sometimes when you're having so much fun in this excitement, the nerves get to you yeah. and you get tired. You get that adrenaline and drum and Muazma needs to avoid that. She needs to stay consistent in her performance. Amazing, amazing female athletes of Pakistan, both giving it their all in this semi-final contest. <laughs> Muazma is like, I'm not, I'm not even tired. Come at me. Big, big punches by Mazma. Rahila needs to do something fast. She is losing a lot of points. Oh, Mazma. She's a star. Float like a, a star. butterfly, sting like a bee. How about that? <laughs> That's the great Muhammad Ali, for those of you who don't know. Referee separating both fighters. Oh, a little bit of aggression there by Rahila. Dirty drama, drama. <laughs> it looks like Rahila is getting frustrated a little bit. Maybe Mosnas really is getting into her. Ooh, oh, good connections by Mosma. Rahila, oh, Rahila with a big punch of her own. Two punches. But that doesn't seem very legal to me. They both caught in a very strange grappling position. Rahila facing away it. from the fighter and she faces the consequences as the referee continues the bout. Instructs on the box and... Uh, Rahila looks tired, Mozma still on the attack. I think Mozma's in Rahila's head as well. Oh, Rahila's oh, frustrated. What was that? That was like a slap. <laughs> Maybe they are getting a little bit tired. If you see Rahila... Rahila putting the pressure on Mozma. Mozma's become a little more square. She's become more heavy on her feet. She's not light on her feet like she was at the start of round one. It's an indication of getting tired. Both fighters still going at it. That is the end of round number two. Amazing, amazing contest between two great, great female athletes, female fighters, Mozma and Rahila. Fazen, I don't want to sound biased, but uh, according to what I'm seeing, Mozma has, clearly has the advantage. She does clearly have the advantage. The body landing speaks for itself. The ring generalship speaks for itself. Uh, Mozma, you can see she's leading the dance. She's controlling the pace of the fight, and uh, she clearly seems to be ahead. Incredible to see these great female athletes, female fighters representing Pakistan here at the National Boxing Championship. Even Brought to you by Geo Super. Even better to see their coaches leading them, they're also females. Yep. This is a big empowering movement. Boxing, it's a sport not limited to any gender. We are not any grateful race. to DHA and Pakistan Boxing Federation as well as Geo Super for making this event happen, for broadcasting this event. It's very often said, Abdullah Bhai, violence is a universal language and it speaks to no certain gender, no certain race, no certain religion. And let them fight, let, let them, them brawl. Final round of this amazing contest. Both the females after each other on the ropes. Catching the breath there, both of them a little bit, I see. Kamal ka action dekh rahe hain aaj 38th national men's and second women's national boxing championship idhar DHA ke andar brought to you by Pakistan Boxing Federation or Geo Super main hu Abdullah Khwaja aur mere sath hai Fazain Fawad abhi hum 
एक जबरदस्त फीमेल बॉक्सिंग मैच देख रहे हैं बिटवीन टू ग्रेट ग्रेट अपकमिंग फाइटर्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान राहीला एंड मोजमा मोजमा इन रेड राहीला इन ब्लू both fighters just looking at each other now mazma she's become very flat footed oh look at what that is, she's a natural strike and she's going at it did you see what oh, she just but did? her arm she dropped her guard she waited for her opponent to come in and then hit her with a big big she, punch she's baiting her she's getting into her head she's playing those mind games very essential to a boxing fight we have just seen a star making performance from both fighters but obviously mazma we we'll wait for the end of round number 3 seem like they were going to hip toss each other over there <laughs> boxing is not a fight of just those arms just the body it's a mental warfare Good as well show of sportsmanship shown by both fighters big punch connection by mazma rahila in trouble oh mazma big just throw big hook. hands fazen what does rahila have to do i don't know what she can do at this point I little think it's little over hopeless. a minute remaining. Rahila needs to do something quick, otherwise Mazma is going to take this round, take this fight. Mazma's clearly taken this edge, taken the edge over the entire fight. She's been the star, but you can tell she's really tired right now as well. But that doesn't deter her from showboating. That doesn't deter her from showing her confidence to Rahila and getting into her head. She's clear if na if not anything else she's clearly winning the mental warfare. Very little time remaining in the final round. Both fighters need to do something quick to solidify. <laughs> Rahila with a couple of punches. Amazing action we're witnessing live on Geo Super. Bit of a headlock. Just a couple of seconds remaining. 15 seconds remaining in the final round of this semi-final women's boxing fight. And that is the round. The last round. That is the end of the third round. And I think it's a pretty clear cut decision from Mayan. We all know sitting at home. Obviously, we're going to wait for the official announcement. But from where we're sitting, Mazma has taken the victory. We'll hear from the judges in just a bit. <laughs> Mazma showboating in the middle of the ring. This kid's a star. This kid's a star. <laughs> Mosma representing Punjab showboating in the middle of the ring shadow boxing showing her skills announcing to the world that she's here and she's a star That the body language speak for herself she's really happy to be here It tells here. the entire story Fazen seconds away from the official announcement for this fight between Mozma from Punjab and Rahila from Gilgit Baltistan Mukabla kiya Khawateen mein boxing khel ko farooq dene ke liye aapki taaliyan aur zordar taaliyan bajna bahut zaruri hai Red is winner no questions about it we call it for the Mozma the clear cut winner of this fight both fighters congratulating each other hugging each other hugging what a historic other. event we are a part of we are lucky to be watching this you guys are lucky lucky to be watching this on Geo Super amazing amazing day for women athletes women boxers in Pakistan and you can tell her coaches are really proud of her as well and so are we so are the fans i'm a fan today of dulak waja i'll be looking out for this name muazma you better be looking out for this name for the couple of years that follow from now on a star making performance by muazma i think tonight in this ring hosted by dha and the pakistani boxing federation obviously broadcasted by geo super